I watched D-Wade and Brown play one-on-one. I saw that game. Mm. Who won? Podcast. My name is Dylan. Today we are talking about LeBron being beat by Dwayne Wade in a one-on-one basketball game. Check it out. D Wade, Bob, you. But like, who was the best player? Like, if you had to say between all the players you played, who was the best that I've ever played? Yeah, that you played, played with. Win? You like, yeah. Who was the best? Let me tell you something, man. I, I don't have to say yes now. Right, quick it's got to be Bron. Bron. It's got to be Bron. But, but what I'm going to say this. Watch D-Wade and Bron play one-on-one. Saw that game. Mm. Who won? D-Wade won that game. All right, so I'm disrespectful when I say James Harden better than D-Wade? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> LeBron's the best basketball player of all time. Yes. I mean, yes, just because he lost one-on-one to D-Wade doesn't matter. Hold on, we got some. Man, we're getting to that. We're getting okay, to that. Okay, we're getting to that. Okay, we're getting to that. Okay, what I'm just saying. I got to ask you a bunch of buttons. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on Disrespecting hold on, Michael Jackson, too. We don't get to that. All right. Now this one really threw me for a loop. How can Dwayne Wade, six foot five, uh, maybe two hundred and twelve pounds? Defeat LeBron James, who is six foot nine, two hundred and maybe fifty pounds in those days, in a one-on-one game. How is this possible? You know, for all those who said, you know, LeBron is such a great defender, on-ball defender, you can defend one to five. How is it possible that somebody, maybe half your size, can be? Can beat you in a one-on-one game and the crazy thing here all right number one all right i know that udonis haslam is not bsing on this he's a straight shooter udonis haslam is one of the straightest the realest players to ever play in the nba not like i know him personally but you could see and what you hear is that he tells people how it is right remember a few years ago he even got up in jimmy butler's face because jimmy butler was acting crazy or something even with the coach right he's the he's an enforcer so if he says something you know it's real right secondly what puzzles me here is that Dwayne Wade doesn't even really have a jump shot so most of his points is going to be from close range he's going to be driving you know or taking some little some little jump shots but he's not going to be shooting threes and he's not going to be taking like long or even mid-range jump shots. He's not even a great mid-range jump shot shooter. So this puzzles me how he would beat LeBron. And second, thirdly, how would Dwayne Wade even defend LeBron? Because if I'm LeBron, I'm, I'm figuring that I would just back him up, pause, in the post, and just take him, pause, any any chance that I, could, I can. I don't see how Dwayne Wade would even be able to defend him. He's probably like 40 pounds more than him. How is this possible? But I believe it because Udonis Haslam said it. This is crazy. All right? So speaking on that, this just goes back to the GOAT debate. All right? If this guy can't beat Dwayne Wade, all right? And I heard that Michael Beasley beat him a number of times as well. But if he can't beat Dwayne Wade, how is he the GOAT? All right? Imagine Kobe. Like Kobe was an assassin one on one. You hear the stories about people trying to trying to go up on him and he destroys them. Isaiah Ryder. Uh, who else did he beat? Um, I don't know. Whatever. Maybe I don't remember who he beat, but I know he would go. I heard the stories about him going up against people one on one and just destroying them. All right after they score one, then he just goes at them. And destroy. Michael Jordan, same thing. Well, this is another chapter in this book. Another piece of evidence to show you. The intangibles that this guy LeBron is lacking that Jordan has and Kobe has right, because if you can't beat Dwayne Wade who I know Kobe would destroy you one on one right you're not the GOAT somebody else is so that's about it so until next time